Here we will briefly discuss the operation of a triode. As mentioned in the previous video, a triode has three elements. The cathode, the grid, and the anode, or what is oftentimes called the plate. The cathode is a metal sleeve that's placed on top of the filament. The filament is how the thermionic energy is created. This is where the light and the heat comes from. This heat curates electrons. These electrons are negatively charged. These negatively charged electrons that are created in abundance due to this heat of the filament wants to naturally flow to the positively charged plate or anode. Though the amount of negatively charged electrons that naturally want to flow to the positively charged plate is dictated by the voltage imposed at the grid, or what is sometimes called the control grid. As a general rule, the control grid of a triode is operated between zero and one volt. This is because if the grid goes too negative, it will cut off the flow of electrons from the cathode to the plate and conversely, if it is too positive, it will let too many electrons flow from the cathode to the plate, then saturating the vacuum tube. The grid is also where your input comes in. And the plate is where your output signal goes out. A vacuum tube normally has an amplification factor of between 10 and 100. The signal coming into the grid, which is usually very small, can be amplified through the process of collecting itself with the electrons that are created from the filament and cathode that transfer to the plate of the vacuum tube. Although one thing to keep in mind is that a common cathode amplifier, which is what we have here on this diagram, naturally inverts your signal. So a positive sine wave coming into the grid being amplified and coming out the plate of the vacuum tube will be magnified but it will be the inverse of what it came in as. So this positive sine wave comes out the plate amplified but also inverted. That is how a vacuum tube triode operates.